Uh, yeah, so now that API itself do not do any actual uh, algorithms or logic, it depends on the backend uh, the bundle functions. As you can see here, now go and bundle depends on the topology manager. Yeah, this, is, this is the base topology manager, which, which we wrote in the other basic functions. So one thing you can, you can see here is there are two ways to get the same uh, dependencies. One is if you define, if you define it in the activator and do a set callback, you're going to get a callback for the dependent button. They right? so showed show you the dependency on how to activate the dependency and how to do the set callback to call the appropriate bundle and the differences. Other way to do is to say this way. If you do it this way, right? You do a single server and get this dependency, you can go and get any container bundle and you can start playing with that. The only difference between the way of getting the reference from here and the way I activate is that if you can put the dependency on an activator, if the dependency is not resolved, your bundle is not even come up. Your bundle will be in a, in a stall state. But if you don't use activator and then use it by a service server from here, it means your bundle will be alive even though your dependent bundle is down. Yeah? Okay. So, say for example, topology manager, somebody stopped. Okay. If somebody manager stopped, Routing manager will start also because completely different language. Accurate level is completely fused now. But here, not proper log mode is not completely dependent on that because not defined in activator. Rather, at every API call, we are requesting for the dependency. So that's the difference. Okay? So you can potentially get the reference from any point. So it's not dependent because we didn't specify that we didn't want to Correct. I don't want to make it. Right, in theory, it's not dependent on that. Correct. Correct, yes. Okay, so you just want to be able to return error or something? Yeah, just return error. Normally, it's not for Yeah. Right? So, in OGI, anybody can go. So, that's the thing, right? You cannot assume any reference is alive at any point of time. You cannot assume that. So, what is null? You return null. But if you fuse the dependency using activator, we are guaranteed that your bundle will null because it's not even come up. Right? That's the difference. So you see, you see different codes, different places where some people will choose to have not depending completely on that. Okay? And even, even if you choose the dependency on the activator, you can say it's required or optional. You can say that as well. Because there are various ways to tweak the dependency on the OSG. And then the assumption is it is still still around the same system state and state. So this is your topology manager, everything is the same, but there is no communication between that. There is no way that this is going to be separated from the first case of that that's here versus something else that's going to be your topology manager. Like your topology is running the same state, basically the same state as JVM. Is that going to be an issue in terms of scalability, or is that just the assumption that that's always going to be the Oh, okay. Um, because your basically your question based or mean here might have different requirements in terms of scalability and just processing from your left here that is inserting end user request per second versus your middleware that's going to be that scale for different. Okay, excellent point. Let's almost jump into this topic of clustering. Okay? Uh, the controller, we have a concept of clustering. It's not working, it's making it work, you're making it. So, working before we broke it, you're pushing it down. Right? Or are you the, the concept of clustering is actually good for where um, we can have, we can form multiple controller instances right? in various servers, different servers, in different GVMs. Right? And we use a uh, protocol called Infinity Span. Infinity Span is a way to spark. You guys read the uh, the uh, discussion going on in the, in the email threads. You see that infinite span has been discussed many many times, right? If you know the request, right? Once you send an email, it's also right. We we have infinite span in place. If this part is not completely different on the other question itself, which is internally secure. What does infinite span is based on? JGUs? In in each of the controller in a cluster mode, all these controllers. Today we have a replicated mode where every controller sees what are the That's why JGUs are 
Where the J group is the phase, yeah. which is kind of the problem. So you use the phase and you have to synchronize it. J group is really low level, yeah. this kind of thing. Uh, if you get better training span code, uh, the code that you use, you look at this clustering services implementation right here, right? It does all the transactions and all this. So, say this is the case. We use this span to see the distribution. Now, applications that are sitting on top, right? they can, they, they, there's no different in the top of one thing. They're probably any customer. So the, the upper that we are taking now is on South Hall, we are we are talking about the active active components. Like all components are active at the same time. So now let's say let's take a look at my example. Say we have 100 switches. Okay. Now on 100 switches, we can have if you want to play out this one, I have to take it here. Okay. Like no good one not zero, we can have active shiny one. On the RT, you can have active active access. So it doesn't matter. So from the control standpoint, you have active active two on. So at any point of time, you can scale the controller southbound and northbound based on the number of customers. So an application is running on top, right? It has a requirement of million active, million, million instruction per second. Of course, one controller cannot handle the load, right? So we can have a SP load balance here, right? And it can be load balance. Which has a local IP and a local IP is now. Virtual IP can take this request and start playing to the different controllers. It can, right? Since the states are synchronized always, you are guaranteed that you are, you, you can scale some sort of way, adding more controllers. Not for one sort. There are two kind of mechanisms that they're talking about. They're talking about state synchronization and human synchronization. Okay. So there are mechanisms most of the you, you have to use the state synchronization most mostly. Okay. You use even things then you are your performance will be in time. Okay. So in most scenarios you go with state synchronization where any controller that gets the event, right, is the rest of the database and database gets the same In those cases, you do even more. Right? But even think this should not be used like, like you know, for, for all, for all. This is not the case. It also be across. Or the case is that you need to be able to call even thing and say thing. Even thing is again, you will have a boolean, right? This will say, this is the state. So we can even then. Even though it's the same, it's the same thing. It's like the same thing, but it's going to be bigger even on the other side. So, every controller in the, in the, in the state is the same, every controller will get a power Then you say, hey, your state is the same, you want to access changes with you, you can design on that. You can design not to do that. Or you will think, case, you will, you will go back and say, hey, I want to add this event and, you know, I have to follow things. Okay, so we'll see. Yeah, put it. Uh, yeah, so now the party manager is going to run on every country. Right? So, now, uh, no, you know. so, this being null is the only case can happen only when you have pinned down the, you have brought down the, uh, the button on a given controller. Right? So, from our standpoint, since the same controller is running everywhere, if you suppose it here, this running locally or not is not a problem. We are following with how you want to scale for application needs. That you want to scale between. And if you look at the code, right? I will point to the code where the, the crushing code is, is, I showed you. They'll make it even more more solid. Um, let's go to poly manager. Sorry, I'm jumping, but it's not all pieces, so it's, it's, it's okay to talk about all this. Um, you go to poly manager, you, you, you invariably see many uh, data, data sets are called. Or concurrent app. Even though we could have used, used a list, array list, we could have used anything else, we could have used concurrent app. Okay? 
the only reason is because the infinite span infinite span can synchronize only components. Right. Very important to note here. This is a, it's a transparent uh, distribution mechanism, mechanism that if you have a concurrent map right, and represent the task saying, hey, I want to see a concurrent map for my database, uh, distributed database, then it is spent takes care of your transparency for you. So now, there is a concurrent map, you can be rest assured, standard is used to spend, or suppose like, okay. Well, let's just go and see how we create this, uh, uh, this object, okay? Let's look at node connected DB. There you go. See, look at here. We create the node connected DB. Okay. Using container custody service. We are not saying node connected DB equals a new concurrent hash map of this one. We are not saying this, right? All we are saying is, hey, I want to create a cache called Copali Manager and node connected DB, right? I want it to be non transactional. Yes, sir, please say it for me, right? So what want to say this, this, this actually goes to the infinite span uh, code base. Infinite span says, okay, I want to create, you want a cache to be created. We create the cache with the name, profile manager node connection DB, and give you back an, an, a, 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 a concurrent hash map. Now, how do you use the hash map? You just go and say dot put or dot get, right? Just say dot put, that dot put call will, start, will, will get converted into a, so let's look at the code. Let's put node connected db dot put, right? Putting a put here. It looks very you know, uh, very simple, right? Just we are just putting to a local db. Local db. Actually, it's a remote. The moment you do a put, it's actually just across transparency. So the only thing you do is you create the cluster db and then rest it as it's assured synchronous. So there are a lot of different going on. Yes. 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 Correct. It, it depends on the 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 various configuration available in this time. You can have replicated mode also. Replicated mode is where you can replicate the device. Okay. So you are you are asking this, right? Depending on where it fits the customer. If there is place one controller here or not in India, we expect a we expect a lot of so it really depends on various mechanisms to see the, the performance of the system. Yeah. And then you know what you call it. This is this one. My handling stacks are on Yeah, this is the you can see the special pattern is done. This is a JBoss project. It uses uh, J groups as the only mechanism to synchronize the states. So there are various mechanisms. We also, uh, the two space are using the uh, cache and run for doing this. And then I can run this consistency in the protocol, in the database. It has to go with special consistency. Uh, so, but we, we mean the system when we go to this code, right? One primary obstacle we had was the application should not worry about synchronization and consistency. Application should assume that, hey, I'll turn on the some stuff, the infinite takes care of the application and all. So the, the operator must get a guarantee from the controller stating you always get a consistent view on all, it's not worry about That's the object that we get. But there is a problem there, there's a particular cap here where you cannot get consistency, availability, and function. Right? So it's really it's a it's a uh, distributed problem, right? How each application want what and what kind of thing. It's going on still, but yeah, now we are coming to some, some kind of consistency on how to approach it. So far now they will even this as but this is happening. Yeah. Yes. Not in this span. You could put this span by de de default, right? It is in memory. By default. Okay. But there are various plugins which we can enhance this process. 
at this point, look at the control today, here, minimum. At this point. So, if you're being rushing, then you need that. So, your assumption is that it's going to be Oh, yeah, but, but, 
considered is not the Ethereum exchange, it's the Cartier exchange. Yeah, very different. Then, what who's going to control what? For example, right, the controller that open device controller might just have the config implementation, might just have the file storage. But maybe you have a controller, right? Take open device controller, and you can plug in your own config implementation. That cannot remove the implementation that is in open device. Right? You can have a database. So, you can you have to stop anybody developing a new implementation. That's proprietary way of doing it. That's why you suppose can dial right to the computer. So first thing you have to do is introduce a configuration service. That's the first important piece of it. Yeah, so we use the interface plan today, of course, to synchronize the language skills. So, topology is a good example, right? Topology is a FMS, right? Topology keep changing, it's a very dynamic in nature. So, right, force coming up, force going down, the VMs. Right. This is kind of just a okay. It will, it will. So this is no partition, for example. So what is always finished? Eventually, not eventually, I don't even know. It's always finished. The partition is a cell problem. That's the solution that we have to What is this partition? The cell problem starts. That's where the big discussion happens. Which I don't have an answer, of course. Shopping is to converse. So, what I'm going to 
what are you guys see in the open day life for the month i am not expert in talking about that so i can ask it so it is Now let's look at the the confidence that I mean. Okay, okay, okay. thanks. Uh, It's okay, man. I don't have this one. Okay. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Uh, now let's go into the individual part of it. As I was explaining before, we actually, uh, the, the, the morning session, we saw the pro programmer and how individual part is built. No difference. Right? Exactly what we want to talk about here. But instead of touching the topic on how the part is built, let's touch the topic on what are all the base parties that we the research is part of this. And I'll explain each one what it does. So the, when you want to write an application, you can know which one to approach. Okay. Um, so our panel is straightforward, right? It's going to handle our panel. So it's going to handle our, it's going to assist the host tracker to say where the host belongs to, and it's going to take care of all the uh, proxy arping and all those things in the control center. Yeah, there's no, it's, it's straightforward, there's no magic here. And if you look at the bundle structure as such, it's exactly the back end bundle structure discussion model. No difference. No, there's no not one API, something like that. It's purely based on activator that it defines the dependencies and services. Uh, clustering services is what we discussed so far. Uh, this, this provides the clustering mechanism for the database to be synchronized across the controllers. Use infinite span in the in the as the base. The clustering services is the API API bundle, which has no infinite span uh, knowledge, so the only implementation here as the infinite span. If you want to change to different implementation, you can do that. Okay. Right. So for this one, configuration is the is the state configuration. You do a configuration, like policy configuration, or a configure name of a given given device. All the position configuration are all through the configuration bundles here. Okay. The container manager. Okay. We discussed about this length in the morning. Container manager is the one which actually is the global component which actually creates containers. This is the one. This is the one which is not belonging to a global container or any container. This is also the container. This is the, one, right? uh, the implementation here is very lame. It's a very simple implementation. You, you, you can replace it with a better implementation. Uh, 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 okay, so it's not done yet. It's, uh, it's one, one day of posting things, right? So when the, when the need to have. So the, Folks say, hey, I cannot have multiple sites in the same address space. Right? You want different address space. One way to solve the problem is that, hey, where is the one is only one one problem. You cannot have And you don't want to run a remote OSGI in the competition. Rather, one of the approaches we are thinking is, we have a trace solution, right? We can have individual instances of the controller handling individual sites. That's it. Customer container. Customer will get a view of separate. each container tenant is part of separate address space. They have a guarantee. At the same time, they get the benefit of same central, central management. Right? So they are a custom model. Now, manual is centralized. So, from an opinion standpoint, they will not know whether it is running in the same controller or another. From a deployment standpoint, they can be guaranteed that they are isolated. The it's an idea. Right? It's possible with the infrastructure available today, both clustering and containers, which of course make use of it. Before it's not there yet. They can contribute this topic, we contribute and write code, make it. But it's all available. Mean, the pieces are there, you put the put the piece together. So right now you need to have a cheaper map. Right now, right now, as it is written, right, everything is exactly the same right now. It's a replicated board, everything is the same. That's how it's done today. But, but it's saying that 
Those are saline. Example saline? Yeah. No, example, you're not using here. This is a full open group project, and we modified it on the, on the protocol layer. There's some bugs which we fixed it, and uh, yeah, we, we put it here. But there's a discussion now saying, hey, let's contribute back to the, the main open source repository, which is Stanford, and then put from there. Uh, but there's not a discussion going on there. But if you want to do that, I'll have ODL as the base for the open project project, and all of us can add enhancements to open project, including the open source project. This is happening, we are not clear exactly on this, but at this point, we are pulled in the code and inserted into the enhancement. Well. Right? So, let me go quickly on this, uh, the rest of the modules. The Dijkstra uh, algorithm, which we use young library to, young, uh, young library to uh, do the Dijkstra calculation between shortest path between two, uh, between two endpoints. You can also do the constant shortest path. Let's skip SAL for now, I'll come there. Um, security, uh, security is not the security, uh, security layer. We have stats manager for pulling in the stats. Switch manager actually handles all the uh, management switches. So when the switch comes up on local flow, or any other uh, switch, it's called switch manager, it can be even router manager. Right? It doesn't matter. All it does is it's called, it does is load manager. Uh, if you look at the controller code across, we never, Look into look at OpenFlow as a as a concept, right? OpenFlow defines the switch ID as a long right? and the port as a short one. Uh, but you do not see anything about long or short or an ID value as represented by OpenFlow in the controller. Well, those are specific to the plugin OpenFlow plugin. The controller assets the entire code will work on a two data structure called node node connectors. You see it all all along. Node is data structure that we use for representing a node, whether it could be an OpenFlow node or an OTK node or a, or a regular router that is talking PCEP or IT wire, doesn't matter. We represent all of them as node, node data uh, So the switch manager is to manage nodes and node connectors. The new one coming along. So whenever you want to know what else is available or a node available on the system, you call the switch manager and do a get switches. You get get nodes, you get all the nodes. So this is the one which is all there. No registering for a given time. And topology manager, we all know, is made in topology. Uh, topology manager, again, is a, is a component above that. Uh, when we go into the protocol plugins, I'll explain a few more things on discovery. But topology manager is running above that. That means it again has no significance about open flow or its protocol. It is above that. It talks only about graphs, edges, and vertices. It's all good. Okay. So, uh, as you can imagine, look at the architecture now. The, the northbound layer depends on these bundles for their uh, data operations. And these bundles have no idea about what southbound plugin they're talking about. Okay. So, northbound and these bundles at this point are protocol analog. They don't know open flow or MPK or whatever protocol. They any protocol. So, I really want because of this layer, that layer. What SAL layer works is, SAL layer is a very simple layer. Look at the SAL code. Even though there's a lot of discussion happening on SAL at this point, the current code is a very simple one. It's just a translation layer. It gets, what it provides is quite uh, some plugins, plugin APIs, which these southbound protocols added to. Okay. Let's, let me show the SAL code now. Look at SAL. I'm opening SAL. You see a lot of, uh, Functions here, and again, the SAL API layer is not the implementation. See, action authorization and various other things, discovery and proof of work. So, I discovery service as an example. So, I discovery service is something which the uh, SAL exposes, and this is something which the protocol plugin has to implement. So, when protocol implements, for example, open flow, right? In open flow, if you want to discover a topology, typically they are doing topology to discover the topology in open flow is to use LADP. Mechanism. It's very, very common these days. Uh, the controller will inject LADP, and through LADP, we learn the neighbors. And the neighbors learn, we follow the topology. That's how the topology is built. Let's take a different example. Right? Let's look at, uh, say, OSP. Right? So we have OSP topology right in the network. We can pull it and form the topology on the, on the protocol. So based on the southbound protocol, the topology layer can change. If you look at 
at the code today, the OpenFlow Southbound plugin, that's the performance management for us. And in Cisco, we have one PK. One PK uh, is a plugin which lets the so called discovery on the OpenFlow. Similarly, we can go to FreeStep, I2R, and so on. Then all of them. To a common infrastructure called node and node, node connect. Okay. So above shell, as you can as you, as you can see, above shell, nobody knows about how the topology is being derived. All they care about from a topology standpoint is a graph. Okay. Uh, the reason we went to this approach is that uh, when we begin this the whole control project, right? So uh, overflow is important at the point, so we use overflow as a place to see how it all works. But we started hearing a lot of we come to the customer and say, hey, I cannot replicate this my, my entire network for B2 open flow because open is separate. Uh, it's basically a business operation. So they wanted that they want to introduce a stream in the network by having open flow island, also the traditional routing protocol they have also. That's their way. So in order to do that, do a data controller for multiple protocols, we needed a layer like SHAR, which provides a plugin approach with any any plugin can come. If the brain can talk the shell language, it can come attached to it dynamically and, and form the get all the services of the education services above the network. That is the principle. Today we have open for of course, right? And in Cisco we have developed the OTK plugin. Okay. Now as, as you can see, few guys are developing through the plugin. So this is a, so as and when is a need to develop it. I know PC, PCP is being developed now. Uh, I, I think we are going to develop open for one three also. So it's, it's coming along, but as you can see, not going to go much faster than Southbound, but at the moment, there are a lot of people here in this consortium, right? There's a lot of need to OSDB is one thing. There'll be a low income and also the she's going to enhance that. Right? Uh, that's now There's no learning concept. Uh -huh. At this point, we didn't even think about anything like that. When you say learning, it makes years. Are just interfaces. There's no actual code here. The actual code is the implementation. So, data value service, flow programmer service, inventory, lead service, and topology. All these are conduits that we come here. It is going to give that when the, when the request comes from the applications running on top of the SAS, it is going to translate them to the plugins. When the plugin gives the event back, it's going to give back to the application. That's all going to SAS is a very data conduit. It's going to convert the layer where. The protocol stops and the generalization begins. That's the sand layer. Uh, so look at all these uh, the, the APIs will be clear, right? Here you see the I plugin in flow program service and then the I plugin out program service. So in means it's coming inside the star, it is going to the to the southern layer, out means it's coming from the southern layer and going towards the application. So if that's a translation, so look at all these uh, plugin services that you see in and out. For the for So, SAL just that. Once SAL provide, provides that, um, where is it? There you go. So, 
protocol plugins open flow this be open flow for one plugin this one yeah. if you open this one you see that um, the the core open flow everything right here internal everything so now if you open this open flow you can see the data package service for promotion everything behind here And the implementation is right here. So if you look at the core internal. Controller Java is the base core. Uh, it's, it's, it's called OpenFlow Controller. It's running under the side. It's going to open the TCP port and it's going to manage your topology and everything. Once OpenFlow person is done, it's going to talk to SAS and talk to SAS. So all you want to do is developing a southbound protocol. Use OpenFlow as a, as a mechanism to talk to. So you know exactly how to develop it. So, water is in SAS, it's a, it's a blueprint. Water is in OpenFlow today, is the actual implementation of this, this protocol. And we have validated in, in a lot of questions about, hey, does this validate even work? Because you are generalizing it too much. You can't have a, one SAS can take care of all the open too much. It's a valid concern. Uh, in fact, when we are developing the OpenFlow plugin for this code, we had some server and some context. They're able to write a plugin for OPK and able to make it work. But I cannot guarantee it's going to work the same way for all protocols. For more, we may have to enact style for that. Such that when somebody wants to write a Pogba plugin, they have to see if this current style is capable to handle them or not. It's not yet enough to That's why it's an open source. So, is this open plugin? Oh, it's, it's the same code, right? Again, it's a, it's a bundle. Yeah. It, 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 see, if you look at, if you look at, if you, now you're talking about, you're talking, you're talking function, from functional, you're going to the runtime behavior. Runtime behavior is no different. Activator or Java. Which, uh, whenever you ask question about runtime behavior, you go to Activator or Java, that's the starting point for you. Okay. From there, you get the, all that's the look for. So let me show you. So as you can see here, I do the say that Topolis service smart class provides the I plugin topology service and suite service. That means I plugin the topology overflow uh, plugin topology uh, services smart class is going to get the events for whenever the SAS shows So this is the Binding, right? That's exactly the discussion in the morning. So, on runtime behavior, don't worry about functionality, what functional model it is. It's all the same OSJ we have to implement. When it comes to functional level, it differs based on which layer you are. You are in a style layer or a plugin layer or multiple layer. So, for each service, there's even access to service. Correct. Everything like plugin, plugin in and plugin out. In and out. Yes. Anyway. And also for the uh, different uh, devices. Okay. So we have another plugin. Yeah, we, we have two plugins now. One PK plugin and open plugin. So one PK plugin. Yeah, we have one PK is not open source. One PK has a has a thing is not open source. Okay. It opens in open source, if and then. Accordingly, you will be a even and answer to that. But, sure, can I say not over source? I, I mean, the decision for not over sourcing is there. Put up there. But there is no other one. <laughs> yeah, so it's not about social media. But it's working. Yeah, it's 
the best thing is somebody is developing a code right the more i am very fact i write code is very fact i don't i don't write the code from scratch ever i use the existing code and see how to develop the code right? so you want to develop any code like for example you want to write a, an application i would say look at the existing application in the code and try to uh, try to reason the code dealing with it try to copy it and then try to do it first is it confident and then you can go and build your own similarly if you are going to develop a new software plugin see you write obvious db for example okay? don't start from don't try to understand it from scratch this open to us as a blueprint look at how it is being done Okay. So, look at SAL, don't need to open code off. Look at SAL APIs, you should be able to build it. But if you have a reference, it's easier for us to develop for the protocol. So, OpenFlow is the reference that we wrote. We gave it to the community. Everybody can look at the reference, look at the corresponding SAL services to see if you are able to, if you can develop your own plugin or not. If not, then you have to enhance SAL to accommodate your request. We have to do that. So far, we didn't see any. So far, it's Then to move between open source and open source part, so we didn't enact it yet. But this is very practical approach. We don't know what is going to come. There is something is going to come. We wait for it. We don't know. Yeah. 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 Ye
when when somebody wants to update a topology out to the stack, they use the out topology service and then push into it. The end is where the the SAM will say, "I want to push some events towards." Me. So look at the so the activator, the Java. That's why you see all the dependencies in and out. It depends on what way you want to do. Yeah, it is. It is work. It's not. It's not a. I I won't lie to you. That it's simple to do. It's it's not a lot at this point. Okay, you want to have a general idea, right? This is a will give you an answer. This is the best way to look at. See, you will you see a topology service, discovery service, programmer service. Um, Not even right here. Sal. See, error package service, inventory, read service, topology. And that's it. Not much. Uh, absolutely. Yes. Uh, it's a very good point. In fact, we already have the first plugin here. It's just nothing. <laughs> yeah, we have it here. Uh, but uh, this is a good point. As an example, right? The uh, data package service. Okay? We implemented one PK as a plugin, right? We didn't implement data package at all. Yeah. Not all plugins have to implement all things. Some plugin may not. Say, write a firewall. Some Outdated firewall, this has a top one API and rest API. Okay? They can write a top one plugin, this is rest API, this is only one thing, so far also. Copy, you can do exactly what it, what, what it means. Yeah, stop plugin is there, yeah. Yeah, this one, this is not plugin. Put up a research stuff. No, see. Yes, you can of course look at that. But to me, look at OpenFlow as a way. So you know exactly how it works. When you develop this stuff like in and then start working on that. Point you brought up about the overlay and the lay topology discovery. Another topic where how do you merge overlay and the lay topology? At this point, right? Like, above that, it's all the topology side is not the graph, it generates better. But it's not as simple as that, but it's the essay that way. That is stateless. Today, Sal, do you want to say that? But there's a discussion going on about SAL model even starting to be stateful, but SAL is stateful. Okay, I'll give you the same. Uh, this merge merge topology is not the same. Yes, there's one more thing I want to tell you. Right? Every bundle you see here, in, in, in OSJ, there's one more concept called uh, fragments. The beauty of fragments is without touching the base code, you can write your own bundle and attach as a fragment to the existing one. Okay, so you see how it's going. Okay, this you want to develop uh, your code and you want to enhance it and you don't want to contribute back to the community. So it's proprietary in nature, right? Then you can write a, write a fragment and attach it to your number and make it work for your company. So some proprietary, some IP are there once, which we have to do that in. As all of us, I'm not saying you can't do everything from here. Maybe you cannot. Some of some, some are very proprietary, which you cannot, which you can just try to and attach to them. So, to answer the question, that's the, that's the other way we would answer the same question. Translated and 
Even today, I, again, I'm diverging a lot of videos here. So, I, I diverging a lot of videos, I, I mean, not about one speaking and everything, right? So, this is, the reason I'm saying that is, no, no. This is, okay. When you say, ask questions, right? Uh, I can answer you say it's possible, but I can give you a better answer by saying, hey, it's done already. The way it is done is by saying, hey, you can look at, this is a thing of properties, in fact, because all properties, you use properties effectively to communicate various mechanisms. So, as I said, that style is a very transition, so it doesn't do anything much. So, the cell phone plugin has various tools also to communicate a lot of things to the up and down. Or tools. Use those tools, include native topology, native topology, overhead topology, whatever, right? All the open given to this code. 
You may not see in OpenFlow because it's not there, but the style that provides all this functionality. Correct. Sal doesn't do anything of this. But Sal provides this mechanism. For example, right? I'll show you one, one small thing. If you look at Sal core, so I don't know any documentation. I, I can just show the code. Right? All right. There you go. Okay. You see a lot of tags here, right? These are all data sets that are representing what, what not. Okay? Not everything need be represented by OpenFlow. But many folks can make some. For example, let's just take an example, right? Peer bandwidth. Okay? This is an extends bandwidth. Okay. When you open bandwidth, it extends property. So property is a is an abstract class, so it doesn't do anything. But SAL provides an ability to transmit the properties from southbound to the upper layers. Right? So now you can imagine, hey, if you can send layer property, layer four property, lower layer property, you can do that. So SAL is Sal provides a conduit, it provides you an abstract class called property. Using that, you can do a lot more stuff. Your 
I think there's cushion class in here. Right now, there are two screen indications that will appear. Yes. So, yes. That's all. Or it could be a UUID. It could be a UUID, but all photos of plus are not the UUID. The problem is this one, right? Open plus says, hey, I have a UUID. Okay? I go to Wikipedia. What UUID? He's going to solve the problem. <laughs> I'm happy. Right? I have a tough problem all this. It's dedicated now. It's so, I mean, it's the key. I have a key. No. Look at give me an example. Open flow. Unique identity for open flow is six items long right there. There's only problem. Nobody else can care about. So there are many proprietary ways to put them together. It's happening now. I'm not saying it's not happening. Okay? There's no clean way. This thing is new for all of them. Okay? And this is a new problem. Hey, I have multiple protocols tied to the controller. Both are same. I don't even know what I'm not saying. It's all new, right? It's a little based. It's certainly a case. It's an update of a customer who's writing their own app. Yeah. Okay? And if they know exactly what it is, of course they can write whatever app they want to. But how many customers they want to write their own app? Right. It's going to be a generic app. That's when you're going to buy from one, two, or right? How can you write a generic app based on somebody's network? Right? It's not a complicated problem. Then yes, you can solve. You can solve one of these things. Okay? But think about it. Yeah. Overall, you say it's a hard problem. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Same. So now it's more than more than more than. Let's not get into right here. Tall idea. Huh? Actions. Actions. Hey, by the way, it's three fifty. You want to take a break? Uh, I'm just talking nonsense here. No, <laughs> <laughs> no break either. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So actions is there. Basic ones, right? Bandwidth, advertisement. There are properties. There are properties. Yeah. Uh, all the properties. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, post. Edge is the base layer. Edge is the link. Edge, as you can see, edge is as you can see, tail connector and head connector. Edge is also not the base, it's a connector. I don't know. Yes, but from topology standpoint, without, without an edge, you cannot cover topology. So, edge is the fundamental about the connector. Yeah, but edge is the base. Ashan, even though you use the word connector, edge is the base. Yeah. Dream Magic is not a node connector. Not a connector. Host. Uh, let's see. Path again, you say it's not based, it's fine. <laughs> uh, property is based, that's the discussion. Right? Uh, all other things, mostly these things are all properties, yeah. All the that's it. That's it. Not much. Not much. It is not. Once you look at the code, oh, actually, there's a problem here, yeah. There's one more thing. Container flow is also the basic right, thing. Yeah, this is the basic one. Container flow. And match. Match was the basic. Okay, yeah, container flow is flow. Okay, you don't uh, worry about container flow. Naming is uh, messed up. Match is also basic. Yeah. Uh, uh, one, uh, yeah. Yes. 
<laughs> yes. But the Because he's right? That's what I say. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's one of yours. Yeah. From, from, from the day we start coding, it was one of yours. You, we don't know exact date ever, right? I would say close given take one and a half years to two years. Why is that important? Yes, sir. Who is that? Who is that? If it's important, I'll definitely answer. It's not important. Overflow plugin is different, right? We use Overflow J as a protocol mechanism. Plugin is simple. Once we know the concept, right? plugin is simple. Yeah, I gave it. I mean, I don't want to put it in the All of these are all of these are super sad. I mean, you have people coming. There's one more thing I want to tell you. You're you right. Um, these things are so many things, right? Again, to me, it's a mistake. You have so many fixed classes to be part of. Okay? So uh, I'm working on this as well, custom properties, okay? which will, I think, we'll come to soon. Where do not see properties like this. These so are all dynamic user different properties with various attributes to that. Once you see that it's all collapsed to one to one generic property, then it will be dynamically handled anyway. Okay. I the question. The question is that let's say, how do you know these two are same names? Yeah, you're not going to take a break. 
pues, 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 pues nosotros lo ven antes también. Based on the number of customers. So, an application is any of the right? 
have the requirement of median packet median median initiation percentage. Of course, one loader cannot handle the load. Right? So we can have a SP loader in here. Okay? It can be loader right? which has a local SP and a single IP now. Virtual IP can take this request and start playing to the different approaches. It can, okay? Since the states are synchronized always, you are guaranteed that you are you, you can scale horizontally by adding more controllers. Not more horizontal. There are two kind of mechanisms that we are talking about. We are talking about state synchronization and event synchronization. Okay. So there are mechanisms. Most of the, you, you have to use the state synchronization most mostly. Okay. Use event sync, then you are the performance will be intact. Okay. So in most scenarios, you go with state synchronization, where any controller that gets the event, right, is the rest of the database, and database gets sync. In those cases, you do even more. Right? But even things that should not be used like, like for, for all, for all. This is not the case. It also be a cross. Or three, 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 three. You don't require even thing and state thing. Even thing is again, you have a good list, right? This will say, this is the state. So we can even them. Even though it's the same thing, I guess it's the same, but it's going to be a real on the other side. So, every controller in the state is the same, every controller will get a call back. Then you say, hey, your state is the same, you want to access something, you can design on that. You can design not to do that. Or you will think, hey, you will go back and say, I want to add it to the event and no. I have to follow the event. Uh, yeah, so now the party manager is going to run on every country. Right? So now, run on any one. So, this being null is the only case, it can happen only when you have filled down the, you have brought down the, uh, the button on a given controller. Right? So, from our standpoint, since the same controller is running everywhere, you can perform here. This running locally or not is not a problem. We are following with how you want to scale for application needs. That you want to scale between. Cluster. And if you look at the code, right? I will point to the code where the, the crushing code is, I showed you. They'll make it even more more solid. Um, it's good to call it by the Sorry, I'm jumping, but it's not all pieces. It's, it's, it's okay to talk about all this. Um, you go to the policy manager, you, you, you invariably see many uh, data, data sets are called. Or concurrent map. Even though we could have used, used a list, array list, we could have used anything else, we could have used concurrent map. Okay? The only reason is because the infinite span, infinite span can synchronize only concurrent maps. Okay? Okay. Okay. Very important note here. Infinite span is a, it's a transparent uh, distribution mechanism that. If you have a concurrent map right, and represent the can say, hey, I want to see a concurrent map for my database, uh, distributed database, then it is spent takes care of your transparency for you. So now, there is a concurrent map, you can be rest assured, standard is used to take time, most likely. Okay? Well, let's, let's go and see how we create this, uh, uh, this object. Okay? Let's look at node kind of DB. There you go. See, look at here. We create the node connected DB okay. using container custody service. We are not saying node connected DB equal to new uh, Yeah, so now the API itself do not do any actual uh, algorithms or logic. It depends on the backend uh, the bundle function. As you can see here, the outbound bundle depends on the topology manager. 
So one thing you can, you can see here is there are two ways to get the same uh, dependencies. One is if you define if you define it in the activator and do a set callback, you're going to get a callback for the dependent button. They right? so showed show you the dependency on how to activate the dependency and how to do the set callback to call the appropriate bundle and the differences. Other way to do is to say this way. You do it this way, right? You do a single server and get this dependency. You can go and get any container bundle and you can start playing with that. The only difference between the way of getting the reference from here and the way I activate is that if you can put the dependency on the activator, if the dependency is not resolved, your bundle is not even come up. Your bundle will be in stall state. But if you don't use activator and then use it by a service server from here, it means your bundle will be alive even though your dependent bundle is down. Yeah? Okay. So, say for example, topology manager, somebody stopped. Okay. If somebody manager stop. Routing manager will stop also. You have completely different languages. Activated levels is completely fused one. But here, not total output is not completely dependent on that because not defined in activator. Rather, at every API call, we are requesting for the dependency. So that's the difference. Okay. So you can potentially get the reference from any point. This is the reference. So it's not dependent because you didn't specify that you didn't want to Correct. I don't want to make it. Right, in theory, it's not dependent upon actual Correct. Correct, yes. Okay, so you just want to be able to return an error or something? Yeah, just return an error. Normally, say, so, this is not Yeah. Right? So, in, in OGI, anybody can go. So, that's the thing, right? You cannot assume any reference is alive at any point of time. You cannot assume that. So, what is null? You return null. But if you fuse the dependency using activator, we are guaranteed that your bundle will null uh, null because it's not even come up. Right? That's, that's, that's the difference. So you see you see different codes, different places there. Some people will choose to have not depending completely on that. Okay? And even even if you choose the dependency on the active concurrent hash map of this one, we're not saying this, right? All we're saying is hey, I want to create a cache called Topoly Manager and Node Cache DB, right? I want it to be non transactional they serve the and the speed state for me, right? So what I say is, it, it actually goes to the infinite span uh, code base. Infinite span says, okay, I want to create, you want a cache to be created, you create the cache with the name, profile manager node connection DB, and give you back an, an, a, 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 a concurrent hash map. Now, how do you use the hash map? You just go and say dot put dot dot get, right? Just say dot put, that dot put call will, pass, will, will get converted into a, so let's look at the code. Let's put note kind of db dot put, right? Putting a put here. It looks very you know, uh, very simple, right? Just they are just putting to a local db. Actually, it's a remote. When you do a put, it's actually just across. So one thing you do is you create the uh, concurrent hash map db, and then assume the synchronous. So there are a lot of discussion going on. Yes. 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 Correct. It depends on the see the the various configuration available in the same time. You can have replicated mode also. Replicated mode is the way you can replicate the Okay. So you are you're asking this, right? Depending on where it plays the customer. If there is place one control here or not in India, you would expect a regular we expect a lot of speed. So it really depends on various mechanisms to see the, the performance of the system. Yeah. And then you're working on My handling stacks are limited. Because you Yeah, this is the you can see the better pattern is done. This is a JBoss project. It uses uh, J groups as the only mechanism to signal the space. So there are very mechanisms. We also, uh, the two space are using the uh, cache and run, or doing this. And then I can have the consistency in the protocol, in the database. It has to go with the special uh, So, but 
B, B means the system when we go this code, right? One time actually we had lost. The application should not worry about synchronization and better. You can say it's required or optimal. You can say that as well. Because there are various ways to tweak the dependency on the way through. Yeah? Sure, and then the assumption So, say this is the case. We use the same distribution. 